Today's reading is Will O Wisp, an entry from the Monster Encyclopedia book series. Undead monsters that result from the fusion of demon mana with the soul of a person who died alone. Their bodies are comprised of raging flames of jealousy, and they wear something like a cage around their body to hold the flames in. They are persistent, ferocious monsters. Because of their loneliness and feelings of dissatisfaction, they are extremely jealous of the living, especially lovers or married couples that seem to be happy. When they see a man and woman in love, their flames increase in intensity and their ferocity increases even more. Due to this envy and jealousy of the living, there is always a darkly obscene passion swirling in their hearts. When they spot a human man, they will smile gleefully as they assault and violate him. Due to their origins, they have a sick obsession with men. When they capture a man, they'll shut him inside their own cage. The sex will be intense and relentless. They'll adhere closely to the man's body and continuously fondling him all day long without growing tired of it. When they kiss, they'll continue sucking with their mouth and intertwining their tongues with his as if to suck up every last drop of his saliva. Once they've joined with a man they hate it for his penis to leave their vagina, they transform their cage to bind the man and ensure that he cannot escape. Once that happens, they'll move their hips as if to cling to the penis, and a man will continuously have his mana squeezed out, squeezed and sucked out as if he's experiencing pleasure of such a degree that he'll be under the illusion that even his soul is being poured inside of them. In this way, a man will always exist inside of them. When their bodies are filled with warm mana, they realize that they're not alone and their once empty heart is filled with warmth and ecstasy. It is said that men who have had their bodies and souls squeezed by them and become their husbands will not be released even after death when only their souls remain. They will end up continuing to have sex with them as their husband for eternity. Also, sometimes living men are not their targets. Instead, they trap in the souls of men who have died alone like them and make husbands of them. They say that when the living wander into the residence, they show off while making love. Furthermore, even after obtaining a husband, their deeply jealous personalities do not change. Every time they encounter a pair of lovers or married couples other than themselves, they get jealous and express feelings of rivalry. If a couple is intimately making love, they'll get jealous of it and fawn on their own husband as if to indicate that they would like to do the same. If there's a wife who devotedly serves her husband and smiles happily as she's able to make her own husband happy with her own hands, then they will be extremely jealous and envious. They will then devotedly serve their own husband to the point of being obsessive. In this manner, their flames of jealousy rage without limit, and they won't be able to settle down unless they're the most indecent and most loving couple around.